All right, so now I'm just gonna graph them in the three different colors. So negative two and four, negative one, one, zero, one, and one. So I'm going to get something that looks like this. It looks a lot wider than it is just because I, I spread out my, my x-axis and I spread out my y-axis. But I'm just going to graph the 3. Negative 2 and 16. Negative 1 and 4. 0, 0. 1 and 4. 2 and 16. And lastly, negative 1 and 9 to 36. I don't say it's up here. Okay, so those would be the three graphs. Uh, on the x-axis, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and then 1, 2, 3. I'm only using values because we only use from negative 2 to 2, right? Okay, so as you can see, so our k value is because it's inside of the bracket next to x, that when if it's larger than one, it's a horizontal compression. So if you think about it, the black one was our parent function, and now we're compressing it. So now we compress it by a factor of, of two, but it's the opposite. Okay, so it's k over uh, two, which is a half. So we compress it by a half here, and this one we compressed it by a factor of 1 over 3. So we compress it over by 1 over 3. So when we compress it, it gets skinnier. Okay? So it's the opposite of the A value. Okay, so the A value would be a stretch, and then the horizontal, the K value is a, is a compression. It looks the same, and it does the same thing, but when we're talking about vertical and horizontal, it's just different. So this one here, it also had a negative, but it just reflected it this way. So it doesn't actually look like anything happened. So the negative two in this one, the negative two, it actually did reflect, but it didn't actually change the graph. It reflected over the y-axis, but nothing changed because there was no sh uh, shifts left or right. So the blue one was a, hor I'm just going to write it, horizontal compression by a factor of 1 over 2. So when we're talking about the k value, it's always 1 divided by k. 1 divided by k. So it was 1 divided by the actual number 2. And I'm going to bring this camera closer so you guys can see. Okay, so the blue one is a horizontal compression by a factor of 1 over 2 or a half. So horizontal compression by a factor of 1 over 2. because the formula is one over K. So we do one divided by the K value, which is two. So one divided by two.
All right. Likewise, what would be, what would we say about the red one? Horizontal, what? What would we say about the red one? If we had to describe it. So horizontal compression, good, by a factor of one over three. So horizontal compression by a factor of one over three. Horizontal compression by a factor of one over three. It's a little bit tough to read that one, but it says horizontal compression by a factor of one over three. Let's give you guys a minute to get that down and we'll go on to the next question.